Our next speakers are Dewey Galagos and Jessica Flock, and they sent bios that I didn't receive, I didn't print up, but then they told me what was in their bios, and they, they, their bios conveyed such important information about them that I was sure, made sure to write them down so I could tell you about Dewey and Jessica. And it is really interesting because Dewey Galagos was born in an insane asylum in the primeval jungles of Guatemala. That's what he told me to say. <laughs> He was actually raised in Laramie, but he spent so much time outdoors by the river that his mother did contemplate the possibility that he was actually feral. Dewey is happy to have found someone who enjoys the outdoors as much as he. That would be Jessica Flock, and it turns out Jessica actually is feral. That's also what Dewey told me to say. <laughs> Jessica Flock, in June 1978, her parents went on a trip to the Selway River, inspiring a lifetime of outdoor adventure for them, which became a lifetime of outdoor adventure for her. She's grateful, too, to have found someone who loves the outdoors as much as she does. That would be Dewey. They've been married for 14 years. They own Laramie's Pedal House. It's great. I wouldn't take my vintage Peugeot anywhere else. Their talk today is pedals and paddles, Dewey and Jessica. Bing. Um, this is the story of narcissism and the narcissism of two people who found love with the outdoors. And I'm Dewey, I'm the guy on the right of that picture, and I love bicycles. I love bicycles so much that my first love and my first memory were actually of bicycles, that bicycle right there in the background. I'm the little guy in the middle. And um, I, loved, I loved bicycles so much that literally my first love wasn't a person, wasn't my mother, wasn't anything like that. It was a bicycle, that bicycle. And I remember walking into a showroom here in Laramie, Wyoming, and that bicycle glistened just like it is in that, that picture right there. It, it was sparkly. And every time I buy a bike, I'm reminded of that moment and that sparkle right there. I still have it in my heart. That's me, the flock star in the upper right and lower left hand corners. I was eight when my parents, Dean and Phyllis, took the whole family rafting for the first time. The gates of the door, the snake, the North Platte, Royal Gorge, all became part of my lexicon. At 17, my parents let me take their four door Ford dually truck and go for a month on the Green, the Yampa, the Middle Fork of the Salmon, and the Selway. It was an incredible run, and I'm very grateful to my great parents. So we got together and we got married in a place called Happy Jack, and it's the most beautiful place in the world. And we rode down a trail called Lovers, and it's called Lovers because these two gigantic water towers have nasty, disgusting poems and pictures written all over them, and it suited us just fine. <laughs> we also, I, I bought two bicycles for us when we got married, road bikes, because I thought that would be a nice, easy introduction, a Fuji Roubaix, which is nothing special, and a beautiful Italian Atala for Jessica. A gorgeous red Italian Atala road bike. The company started over 100 years ago. It has lugged, beautiful lugged frame, SL tubing, lightweight, super snappy. I didn't ride it once. Not one time. <laughs> so it's been night and dating for nine months, thought we'd get rafting a try. Spring break, 1995, we're in the Arizona and the Salt River. It goes from 3,000 to 30,000 CFS overnight. And a cow floats by, like a cow. Quartzite Falls was a 14-foot drop. So I don't know if you heard me before, but I said a cow floated by. There was so much water that a cow drowned, killed, bloated a cow, floated it by us, and it was bigger than our raft, a cow, dead cow floating by. So we get back on dry land, and I'm like, you know what's safer than a cow? Mountain biking. Let's go mountain biking. Jessica was so good at it, I said, you know what's going to make this better? Clipless pedals. I fucking hate clipless pedals. <laughs> she wrecked all the time. It was great. So I thought we'd give rafting a try. June 1999, middle Maine Salmon, Central Idaho. We did 30 miles in three hours. No cow. No cow whatsoever. A refrigerator and a freaking log the size of this stage floated by. So I wanted revenge, and I said, let's go mountain biking again, but we're going to go in the wintertime. And we went up to Happy Jack, and it was the most beautiful, glorious thing. Nothing makes mountain biking better than cold temps and super slick trails. But somehow we made it work. And we made it work in spite of me taking her down the easiest trails in the world, like Death Crotch 
getting caught in lightning storms and laying in the weeds for hours waiting for lightning to pass and freezing our asses off. And we made it work because of these three little dudes that you're about to see right here, Clarence, Jeff, and Lenny. They're our, they're our children, essentially. And we made it work because they love to be outdoors, whether it's on a raft or on a bicycle. I think we should go on a raft. No, 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 it's definitely going to be by bicycle. We really need to go on a raft. So, yeah, the bicycle. We'll talk about it later. So, um, right, I found this thing that I really, really like about rafting. It's called flat water, and it's amazing. And you can go and ride on it and drink beer and get sun. And flat water is the key to rafting. That's the key. I found a happy place biking. It's as a commuter. It's as cruiser. It's going around town with my friends and family, seeing the sights of Laradice. It's my happy place. She should still be using clipless pedals. That's just, um, I, seriously, clipless pedals are the key. Um, we still go on adventures on our own. This is June 2005, Hermit Rapid, Grand Canyon, 18,000 CFS, hole number 10, right before I flip over. I was so happy to not be on that trip. <laughs> I have no idea. And I still go mountain biking, uh, although I don't go by myself very often. I have the greatest riding partner in the world. His name's Jeff. He's the little dude running right there. And what I love most about Jeff is not one time has he ever complained about clipless pedals. Not once. I'm never going clipless. <laughs> Happy Jack, December 9th, 2012. It was our second time out that day. Pretty sure we were the only ones there. One place I know we're going to go together is outside. Thank you. Thank you.